Hey guys, welcome back to Voice Bootcamp. My name is Faisal Khan, and in this video of UCC eSolve Study Kit, I'm going to show you how to integrate Cisco Finas with our redundant PG, along with having a Cisco Finas redundant as well. So what we're going to do first is to make sure our PG servers are all uh, up and running. So this is the site A, PG, and PGA for example. And here I have a peripheral gateway 1A is active, as you can see. And so is a CTI server. Now this is important that you know that the CTI server is active and is listening on po this particular port. 42027 because Cisco Finas is actually pointing to the CTI server on this particular port and this IP address. So if I go to my secondary server uh, B, list process, and again uh, this is going to be on the secondary idle. Uh, this should be idle, this is not something right, so let me go and fix that. So as you can see the reason why Psi, uh, PGB has not been activated is because all my call manager services on subscriber is actually deactivated. Uh, PGA is pointing to the publisher while PGB is pointing to the subscriber. Uh, you don't want both PG to point to the same uh, call manager IP address because in case if one call manager goes down you want to be able to have the secondary in, in place. So that's one of the problem with that. Uh, with, with the reason why this is not working. So I have a, uh, activated the service. So we'll wait and see what's going on. So this is my PGB, and when I go to the edit settings of the PIM, uh, this is pointed to 22, which is the IP address of my subscriber. Okay, so I'm going to exit. Okay, so it is activated. So once the PG is activated, I will uh, go ahead and activate the PGB. And then I'll make sure that it is uh, active or at least idle mode. Uh, it should not be uh, in a configured or any other state than idle. So as you can see right now, it is idle. And the reason behind that is, of course, site A is the active one. Okay, so now that uh, we have verified the PG part is configured properly, we will go to the admin server and we will log into uh, the Finas from that particular server. So I'll go to HTTP sfn.corp. Uh, fn.corp.voicebootcamp.com slash cfadmin that will take you to the administration page. One of the things very important for Finas is a certificate. Now, yeah, before you continue any further, what you want to do is click on this little error called error, certificate error, and you see the view certificate. And what you want to do, you want to click on install certificate, uh, automatically select the uh, store location, and f finish that. If the certificate is not included, then it, the logging as an agent becomes a little difficult. To validate that the certificate has been uh, installed properly, what you want to do, you want to click on the Alt button, see the menu bar comes in, go to Tools, Option, Content, and Certificate. Now once you're there, you go to other people or intermediate certificate, you should see the fn.corp.voicebootcamp certificate install. Okay, so now that it is installed, let's log in as administrator. Okay, so here is the setting. So when you log in, sometimes what happens is you may not see anything right here. You, might, you may see a blank page or an error messages. If you do see that problem, what you want to do is again press the Alt key. When you have the toolbar, uh, tool menu, click on Compatibility View Settings, 
and then make sure the domain is uh, included into that particular uh, compatibility view. Uh, once you have that, you can re-log in and you should see the page uh, loaded properly. So here what we're going to do, the first thing is going to ask you for the CTI server. So in this case, the CTI server is the same server as my PG. Uh, this is the server that we're looking at. So this is the PG1A, or oh, sorry, PGA server. So we want to provide this IP address. Now again, CTI server could be separate, isolated server. Uh, that's perfectly fine as long as you know the IP address. It is important that you know your IP addresses of your server properly. Putting the wrong IP address obviously have a wrong connectivity. So this is the IP address of my site A and this is the IP address of my site B. It's going to ask you for site port number and that information you will find it right here on the PG server again. Uh, right this port as you can see. So Finas will point to this particular port number. So that is the port I'm going to copy on both side A and side B and the peripheral ID is 5000. Next is going to ask you for the administration server and uh, admin server. Now we are in the currently in the admin server. So this is the server that we're working on. And in this server what you want to do, you want to go to CCE tools, click on ICM DBA. and expand your database and you should see the administration and data server so what we need here is this name of this database right here vcb instance underscore awdb that information must be provided right here as a database name uh, followed by the port number a SQL, microsoft sql server the port number is 1433 you need to define the IP address. Now if you have a backup, which we will have a backup later, uh, right now I don't have any backup at this stage. So <coughs> I will set up a separate server for backup. And then you put a domain name, uh, your corp, whatever your NT Windows domain name is, Active Directory, followed by the username and the password. Click on save. And once it's saved, what you want to do, SSH to your um, Finance server and then type the following command. Now I've already tried that a few times as you can see called util service restart Cisco Tomcat. It is extremely important that the Cisco Tomcat has been restarted. If you do not uh, restart that what's going to happen is this information that you see right here does not get affected. Now uh, if you have a secondary finus uh, you can put the IP address secondary finus. Now, I do have a secondary finus server which is currently being installed and it will be I infn.corp.voicebootcamp.com now I'm not going to put that right now the reason behind that is the server is still being installed so because it is being installed it may not be able to respond to it and it may cause problem so once the secondary server has been installed we can put the IP address we can revisit this place and add the IP addresses here alright so now that my uh, Finas administration part is done you want to uh, restart the Cisco Tomcat on the server and then you go to your administration tools configuration manager uh, you want to go to Explorer tools agent explorer and create let's say an agent account so under US cluster so I have an agent account called FaisalCon uh, you, you log in name fcon password cisco voice bootcamp whatever you want to define and the agent id now peripheral id 2101 so this is the login name fcon and this is a peripheral id so once uh, that part is completed you can log into your call manager And we need to make sure that our phones are configured in there. So let's say these are our agent phone, agent one, agent two, so and so. Uh, we are going to do is try to register the agent one phone. So in this scenario, phone three. Because the first two phones are treated as an A user. Okay, so I have a phone registered and up and running as you can see I got two extension 2001 2101 and make sure it's registered 
All right, so the, now that the phone is connected, so you can uh, actually log in to Finas by going to just remove from the URL of your Finas, fn.corp.voicebootcamp.com only without the CF admin. It's going to ask you for user ID, so user ID 2101, that is your agent ID, password Cisco, and then extension 2101. is going to try to encrypt the connection so that's why the certificate is very important so it's going to, it's asking you to accept the certificate so click okay it's going to launch another uh, window just simply click continue to accept now you notice where it says you must accept the certificate fair enough go back to uh, the finance page again and just click okay to accept the certificate and now you're logged into Finas. As you can see, the extension is uh, 2101, agent name Faisal Khan, and you are currently not ready mode. So if I log out, and instead of agent ID 2101, if I press F Khan, password Cisco, extension 2101, that will also work as well. Previously, you could not log in using a, a, a username, but now uh, on version 10.5 onward, you can. So you can log in as a, a username, or you can use an agent ID. Uh, every company is different. Some company prefer the agent to use their uh, ID instead of their name or login name. But again, it's up to you guys. All right, so that's the basic of how to integrate with the with the Finas uh, with uh, PG. Uh, and able to log in as an agent. Now at this stage we cannot make a call because we have not set up a script and whatnot. So we'll do that the next few labs. Alright, so that's pretty much it in this particular lab and I will see you in the future lab.